back at another no heat on a Goodman. You notice anything unusual about that? This is a homeowner install. Pretty nice guy. Um, yeah, look at that. Let's reveal what's going on here. got some crispiness going on. I think this furnace worked at KFC. Extra crispy. There's the culprit. Um, looks like the gas valve shorted out and uh, caught fire. So this is LP so I'm going to change this valve out and um, you know, look at that door. That door got a little hot. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to change this valve out and uh, fire it up and do a combustion tune because I'm noticing some blackness in the drain line. And uh, there's some stuff happening down there. The burners look a little rusty, so I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see what's going on with this thing. thoughts and feedback down below in the comment section if you guys experience anybody out there experienced this before I'm just kind of curious thermostat wire to do for that jumper. These here are rollout switches. They're resettable. They got little buttons on them, so if the flames roll out and it heats them up, it'll trip them. These both were tripped. Obviously, with the heat rolling in here from this fire from the gas valve, it tripped those uh, resettable rollout switches. Probably could be coming back and putting some stainless steel burners in these. Oh yeah, these things are already rusted. Yeah, this definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Let me uh, see if I can see. Not bad in there, but yeah, they're definitely rusted. So, 
So, so I'll give them some numbers then. Place any burners. Clean these burners up while I got everything out. Yeah, propane burns really wet. There's a lot of moisture in propane. So with these burners, so as the gas rolls across, it lights these burners through here, ignites the gas around, and these are what you call travelers. And the gas goes across and it lights the burners all the way across from the igniter all the way across over. And if these get plugged, you'll have issues. Yeah, things definitely need to be replaced already too. This thing's only three years old. Thank you. 
So, before I forget, I need to convert this valve over. So, for those that you don't know, these valves are con they're natural gas ready, but not LP. So, there's little springs in here. You can see the difference. This is lighter, and this is this is heavier duty. So when you dial in that screw, it's for it's more pressure, less pressure for LP. So you got to convert those two over. And when I check pressures, I usually leave these turned down um, so the low I believe is four inches of water column for LP and then natural gas would be I think 1.8 inches of water column for natural gas and then uh, the high side for natural gas is three and a half and LP I believe is ten and obviously if they're not dialed in correctly you will get a plug secondary it'll burn dirty um, so that's what I'm kind of speculating here so there okay so that's how you convert a gas valve Crispy. So I'm just using thermostat wire. And what I'll do is I'll actually double up the wire. It's just 24 volts, so. Yep, in a pinch you can use thermostat wires as long as it's the uh, appropriate gauge. I mean, it's just 24 volts, your thermostat goes through the same stuff, so it'll be just fine. Just fine. And I'm using the Morris, uh, just some female disconnect vinyl insulated. Uh, wire connectors 16 to 14 gauge I'm almost thinking that this furnace has a this is a two stage variable I haven't confirmed that yet but it's got the FCC ID on it which means that I can use the cool the cool on app with this which is nice do I have to say that uh, Goodman or Daikin uh, advanced in that I do like that because you can really dial them in from your phone like brand new. Well, let's get a good chunk of wire on this one. Now let's see if I can do butt connectors. So, that one looks just reaches. Give that one some slack.
Yep, I'm suspecting that this furnace has a plugged secondary. I could be wrong, but just from what I'm seeing from the blackness on the drain line there, and that drain line's not done correctly, it needs a vent. We didn't put a vent on. So that needs to probably be addressed. Pretty new. All right, so oh, yeah. this is a GMVC. 9680. So with this cool app, you can actually pair right up to your phone. Really cool. so take these numbers here and you can put them right on your phone. So then I enter the 924. And boop, I got all, I'm controlling the furnace with my phone through the Bluetooth app. It's pretty cool. There's some updates available. So just hit run and it should come on. Fifty percent, and then I can adjust the gas pressures on the low side. Fifty percent on.
Yeah, me too. Oh, uh, I think they're all they're swivels by um, all light. Yeah, they're nice. I get that all the time. I tell them, I'm like, man, those lights are cool. Uh, I, lo I lost one, or at least I thought it did, so I ordered another one, and I found them out. I'm like, yeah, I got three now. <laughs> nice and bright. Yep. My dad usually grabs me stuff off of the snap on truck. That's nice. Yeah. Those, yeah. Are, those aren't cheap. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple that work pretty well, but again, you need them places, or they just get, I find that you get oil and stuff like that all over the lenses and the stuff. The lenses on. Oh, I'm sure. say about Daikin is they got this that Bluetooth app which is I love I love that portion of this because you can dial it right from your phone and mm -hmm. is that like the what the heck is it called cool cloud or something yep. like that it's called yeah mm -hmm. Combustion analyzer and well, with the YouTube editing, I'm here to replace the burners with stainless steel. like that. Mm -hmm. 
these were just really rusty so pretty pretty easy upgrade Question tune on this now just to check it out. Alright, get ready to play this up. be turning green here real soon and yeah, numbers aren't looking bad I would like to see the CO drop but eh, there it goes like I said propane burns a little bit more dirtier than uh, natural gas using this back rack insight plus um, you can really dial in a furnace pretty well it takes all the gassing out of the work so you're basically gassing if you're not testing content like and subscribe give me that thumbs up button smash that thumbs up button um, and if you haven't considered subscribing yet consider subscribing it it helps the channel out uh, I'd really appreciate it and I appreciate everybody appreciate everybody that's watching thank you